All right. Um, good morning, YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I thought I'd made this video, and then I looked back and I realized I'd made the salad, and I didn't make the video. Um, here's that bowl. It is used, so I'm, that's why I'm showing the bottom first, is it has the what remains of the salad. Um, and it was good. It was good. Is um, But the the bowl itself is, like, you know, hard. Um, you, if you wanted to make this more flexible, just add glycerin to it. That's basically all this needs. Uh, this is the same thing. Is That's that one that was upside down that I was showing you in the other video. It's... This is Colorado. It's just dusty here. <laughs> That's all it's to it. But yeah, the stuff really don't mold. And this is actually a couple days since I had the salad. Um, the, yeah, day before yesterday. And so the, the it doesn't really mold, mildew, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, the only way you can make it rot, feed it to the chickens a direct way, or to make it rot, you'd have to spray it with water. Um, and keep it wet. I mean, and then it'll just decompose. There's nothing in it that's not um, edible. It, this is actual edible plastic is what I'm trying to get at, or, you know, plasticized um, material. And, and the heat press would just form it. And I took a chunk out of it here. That's where I did my taste test. Uh, it's, but it's, otherwise, it's, it's quite durable. I mean, as good as paper or something like that. Um, every bit is, you know, post-consumer, whatever you want to call it. But you could eat this one, is what I'm saying. Um, okay, well, other than that, I didn't have no more. I just forgot that I didn't make that last video on the completed bowl, is what I'm saying. Um, and then I looked back, so, oopsie, my bad. But here you go, um, and the, I apologize for the, the prior use. But you can see it's durable. I guess it's not a bad thing. Um, you could actually use it more than once or, I mean, use it for a meal or something like that. Uh, more than a salad is what I'm trying to get. It's, it's quite durable. So, all right. Um, but not, I don't mean use it twice. I don't mean that at all. It's a one-time use thing, but I just meant for a more durable meal, like even something with gravy or something like that. Um, it didn't leak a drop of the, of the juices or nothing like that from the salad and, or the salad dressing is what I'm trying to get at. And I even put extra oil on there. When, before I was done so but um it, it's not bad it's not like perfect like I said you could make it even flexible with more glycerin or, or others like that uh, make it harder with like an ammonium um instead of the instead of stripping it with the the, the acids but then you couldn't really eat it or whatever there's a lot of ways you can make this more industrial plastic easily um it'd kick the shit out of cornstarch uh, but let's not you know cause a pissing match between corn and they're subsidized and and that's not the that's not the point i mean i'd i'd love to incorporate all the different um ingredients whether it be rice corn whatever makes it the strongest you know and more of the biodegradable i mean this this ain't a pissing contest or i i'm not taking it as one even though i do hemp i'm actually a metal worker um, that's what astounded me about the about the fiber that's in this um, the bass fiber is one one hundredth of a human hair and it's twice as strong as steel by weight. Um, those are ratios that you just can't jack with and I don't care who you are. Um, so, okay guys, talk to you then. Bye. Oh yeah. Like, share, subscribe on these plastic ones and all the rest of that. Not the real ones that we get like personal, but I do appreciate when you do like, share and subscribe to these. Um, especially the share thing that that is a epic thing it gets the word out like around the world and i do appreciate it all right talk to you then bye